Hey guys, welcome back to Paradise. Today we are going to be changing our battery in our 2015 Chevy Silverado 1500. So pretty much what we're going to need today is, uh, what do we got here? 13 millimeter socket. There we go. And a 10 millimeter socket. There it is. There we go. And then some sort of extender. We will need that. And then we might also need a 10 millimeter open-ended wrench. So uh, let's get going here. Uh, lots of stuff in the way like normal nowadays. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to remove that bolt. We're going to remove that bolt. And we're going to remove... Uh, that bolt right there on the side of the battery and that's gonna remove this for this whole bar first off so let's get that out of the way we got that out of the way we can set that aside and just so you know these things the nuts underneath are actually welded to the bar so you don't have to worry about them dropping when you take the bolt out so that's a nice uh, nice feature that they added here all right so now we're down to this so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna unhook the negative terminal there and that'll be your 10 millimeter socket so we'll unloosen that and then we're going to take off this uh, this big bulky plastic thing that's on the top, which is not too terrible. There's one little clip on this side you'll pull up on, and then you might need a flat-headed screwdriver. But there are some some clips on this side, so there'll be yeah one right there, and then another one back a little farther there, and that should pop right off. And then you'll loosen up your uh, positive terminal, and we should be able to take this whole thing off the top of it. So now that we got this whole thing loose and ready to come off, there's one more bolt we're going to take off, and that is that bolt right there. It's actually holding the battery in place, so that's your 13 millimeter, and that's what you'll need the extender for. So we'll loosen that one up and remove that as well. All right. So now that we got that thing moved out of the way, um, the battery is pretty much free and ready to move out. But as always, you can't be that easy, so we'll have to move uh, this tank out of the way here. So in order to do that, we got one bolt down there and one bolt, uh, well, it's down there, but it's uh, pretty hard to see there. So that's what your open-ended wrench is for. Those will be the 10 millimeter ones. So we'll loosen those up and then we'll move this thing out of the way and then you should be able to slide the battery completely out. So this is what you're gonna be looking at when you get the battery out here. So show you a few things here so that's where your bolts coming from from uh, your container here and then over here this is where your battery is going to kind of lip underneath and then that's where that one bolt came down that's actually going to be holding your battery down so kind of clean it up a little bit and we'll put your uh, new battery back in all right then when you get to get your battery in there uh, make sure you take off your terminal covers there and uh, always write on it kind of the year that you put it in then you'll know and you don't have to dig it out next time and you can take a picture of the top too and make sure you get all your information off because unlike the chevy you're going to cover it up with this thing so now I'll pretty much do the opposite that you did when you put it in so we'll put the, the container back on screw those back in and then we'll put the the side part that clips the battery in and then we'll hook back up the terminals Alrighty, there you go we got the positive back on first and then you put your negative on and we got our bolt back in there and then the last thing you got left is to put your bar back across there and uh so this little clip thing here actually goes around the, the bar when you put it in so that's where that goes but otherwise you should be good to go hope this video is helpful guys as always like and subscribe we'll see you next time bye